This right here is the mini gym designed and modeled by Wexter. But look out 3D, 2D is back because Andrew Sink knocked it out of the park. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Edge of Tech where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. This all started with Andrew Sink's tweet recently that says, woohoo, the first draft of my STL to ASC2 generator is live. Whoa, 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 future Jim here. During this video, I actually pronounced the code as ASC2, which is incorrect. Brian Vines very graciously pointed out that it's actually pronounced ASCII, just like it sounds, ASCII. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate you having my back on Hot Makes tonight, and I had to push this in as an interjection. Now back to the video. Well, I tell you what, a lot of us were like, what? And we had to check it out. So I followed the link, it loaded up like this. I hit update STL as you can see here and I uploaded the Wexter Mini Gym. I think this is super cool. This thing automatically drops an STL into ASCII format. What ASCII is, is a seven bit code where every single bit represents a unique character. Therefore turning our STL into the picture you see before us. This thing is so cool, it does anything and I had to jump on here and check it out with the mini gym like I said designed by Wexter. Now you can drop this thing from light to dark mode by clicking here and back to dark mode like this and I really like the dark mode because it looks cool. You can rotate it, you can do a screenshot and take your pictures and that's what we have here. You could even do custom text, you can do mini gym. And then you can update, boom. So if you scroll in here, all of this is created by the character's mini gym or the custom text mini gym now. You can scroll around, you can see how it looks. You can do all exclamation points. Maybe you wanna do that, boom. That's a little bit different there. <laughs> <laughs> or you can reset it just like that and it'll go back to normal. I think this thing is super cool. He's always evolving the code. He has some really great feedback and his website is simply blowing up. If you're getting content out of the video or you like this quick project, I actually made this mini gym out of the word like. Squish that like button now, it really helps the channel. It spreads it out through the maker community and it helps us get out there further. So it's super easy, follow the link, I'll put it in the description below. Drop your STL in and you can mess with it as much as you want. I did not think this was gonna be near as fun as it is. Like I showed you a minute ago, this is the mini gym as seen in the picture we saw a minute ago. You can actually take your screenshot in light mode too and you get something like this. I absolutely love this. This is such an innovative coding project. Andrew, you are simply awesome, man. I've been playing with this thing for a long time, man. I've done a bunch of models. I've typed in a bunch of random texts. It is just so cool how you built this generator. I suggest everybody out there, if you're watching this, check out the generator. Link is in the description below. And Andrew Sink, keep up the great work, man. I cannot wait to see what comes next. I'm 3D Jim. I'm superior because I'm 3D. Nah, I'm 2D Jim and I'm better because I am better. I don't know why I'm better. It's just super cool, man. I, I love this. I love this. I don't know what you're going to do with that, but have fun.